Good morning, everyone. So this is a quick tutorial on how to complete lab number 12. On a Windows PC, go to the address that you have posted here. You can click that top link. If you do not have a Windows PC available, but you would like uh, to watch me complete this lab on video, please head over to this link. This is the YouTube channel, and this is where you're watching this video. If you need to, uh, a copy of the Earth Science Reference Table, you can find them here. Investigation. How can minerals be divine by their properties? Website, after following the link through, uh, and on the left, it shows you how to go through everything. Minerals can be found almost anywhere. Some are used to make things that we use every day, like pots and pans and bicycles. Even though there are over 4,000 kinds of minerals, they all share five characteristics. One, minerals are formed by natural processes. Minerals can solidify from a magma, precipitate out of a solution, or form as a solution evaporates. Two, minerals are inorganic, which means that they are not alive and never were. Three, minerals are solids. Four, every mineral has its own distinct chemical composition. Five, minerals, uh, a mineral's atoms are arranged in a repeating pattern that is unique to the mineral. Although all minerals share common characteristics, each mineral has its own unique physical properties. Appearance, color, luster, cleavage, fracture, streak, color, um, and hardness are some of the physical properties used to identify a mineral. When identifying a mineral, it is important to examine all of the properties of the mineral. For example, to differentiate between the minerals of gold and pyrite, physical properties besides color and appearance would have to be tested. In this virtual lab, you will ex examine the physical properties of various minerals. You will identify mystery minerals by performing scientific tests. So your objective today is to identify minerals by testing them out, uh, testing them for key properties. Uh, one, click the video button, watch the video slideshow. Now I can't show you that here because it won't record the video or audio I tried. Uh, so we're gonna skip past that. It's everything that we've discussed in class already, so nothing new. Two, select the mystery mineral from the tray. Click it and drag it to the test plate. So I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna drop it here. For some reason, there's an audio error. You're gonna get that each time. All right, so we have the mineral sitting on uh, the platform. Click the toolbox to see the available tools. So here are your tools. You have a streak plate, glass, you have your fingernail, and you have a magnifying glass. Conduct one of the four tests on the mineral. Click the magnifying glass. Drag it over to the mystery mineral to test the minerals luster, color, cleavage, fracture. Open the table and record your test results. And you'll be doing that on uh, the uh, Google Slides. Five, open the toolbox and click the streak plate. All right, so let's try that. We got our streak plate, we got our mineral, and we're gonna rub it on the streak plate. Okay, so no colored streak. So you're gonna go to your lab, you're gonna go down, to where it says streak for A, and you're gonna type in none. Next, so I'll we'll go to our glass plate. We're gonna rub the mineral on the glass. It appears that it scratched the glass. So we're gonna to go to this one, and for glass, uh, for hardness, we know it's greater than uh, glass, and glass, we said, had a rating of 5.5, so it's greater than 5.5. Okay, next, we have a magnifying glass. How do I go that way? And you can see the properties. It, to me, does not appear that there is cleavage. So cleavage, fracture, none. I was supposed to put none before in streak, but there you go. Color, what would you call that color? Brown, pink. Okay, and then our last one is our fingernail. We probably should have done the fingernail first, but the fingernail did not scratch it. So that confirms our hardness. Okay, so who could this possibly be?
So you're going to go to your reference table and you're going to find a mineral like specimen A. Oh, by the way, we have to do our luster that we use our eyes. So that would be non, or just say NM for non-metallic. So non-metallic hardness of 5.5. So let's go to the reference table. We're going to go to the back page. Non-metallic means we're here. Hardness of 5.5. Five. 5.5 five or more. No cleavage or fracture. No streak. Brown. Five five or more. No cleavage or streak. It looks like this guy needs to be quartz. So let's try, check that out. We'll select quartz. Click check. And that is correct. So we're going to go to here and we're going to type in our answer, quartz. All right, our next specimen, B, we're going to put him on there. Get that same error. Let's try the streak. And we have a black streak. And I'm not going to fill the rest in. You have to do these uh, yourself. We have a glass plate. Okay, so our glass plate is there and it definitely scratched the glass plate. So that means it's harder than 5.5. That would mean that also your fingernail cannot scratch it because your fingernail is only 2.5. And let's take the magnifying glass and take a look at it. Does it appear to have cleavage, fracture? Well, you see the color there. You can probably call that brown. And um, there is cleavage here. So these are flat planes. I know it doesn't show in the image, but you need to figure out who that is. Okay, next for specimen C, I'm gonna put specimen C there. Let's do the scratch test first this time. Yes, it did scratch it. So we know that it has a hardness of around 2.5. Let's take a look at it. Uh, it appears to have cleavage. It's got those flat sides, and you can see the color that it is there. Glass plate, can it scratch the glass? No, it cannot. Again, that confirms that the hardness is probably around 2.5. And let's see what kind of streak it makes. Mm, colorless streak. All right. So you're going to, again, go to your reference table. Non-metallic, colorless, around, let's say... 2.5 in hardness. So you're going to be one of these three right here. All right. Um, in fact, just another hint, this guy does have a salty taste. Okay, next, specimen D. We've got our streak plate right here. We're going to run that on the streak plate. Do we get any colors? No, we do not. Colorless or white, we're going to call that. Uh, we're going to do fingernail next. Fingernail cannot scratch it. What about the glass plate? Can it scratch the glass? Okay, it can scratch the glass, so I know it's harder than 5.5. And let's take the magnifying glass and hold it over. And it does appear to have some cleavage. I can see the angles there. And those are the colors. All right, so I'll let you try and figure out what that one is. And then lastly, for specimen E, start off with our fingernail. So your fingernail cannot scratch it, but it can scratch glass. So meaning it is harder than 5.5. Take a look with the magnifying glass. That's the structure. To me, it looks like fracture. And let's just see the streak. And it comes up with a dark brownish green streak. All right. So using the information that uh, we pulled out from here you're, and what you have on your reference table, 
it seems to me that um, all of these are non-metallic. Um, yeah, so do your best. Try to find the minerals that match up uh, with those. When you're done with that, you do have two analysis questions. This lab, uh, try to get this done during this week. So meaning it will be due by Sunday night at midnight.